Today, I'm going to be making a really simple and easy caramel sauce. And here are the ingredients that we need. One cup of regular white sugar, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and that's 35% cream I'm using, one third of a cup of butter, and I'm using salted butter in this recipe, and a little bit of water, and I'm going to be using four tablespoons of water. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. So let me go through what I've set up. I have my little hot plate here, which is just an element, just like you would see on your stove. I've got my pot, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four tablespoons of water and just get that right in there. And I'm going to take all of the sugar and just get that right in there, just like that. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently heat this and I want to get this up to a very slow simmer and I want to actually caramelize the, the, the sugar that's in there. Now, why did I put the water in? Well, the water is just going to help get everything together and dissolve properly. You could do this without adding water, but it takes a lot longer and you could actually burn things. So by adding that water in, it just it acts as a little buffer between the, the actual direct heat and it just incorporates everything really well. So I'm going to just get this, this my um, little hot plate here gets very hot very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it there about there. And I'm just going to let this go. And I'm just going to let that slowly, slowly, very gently come up to, um, come up to temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause the film for now. I'll wait a couple of minutes. And once it starts doing what it needs to do, then I'll come back. All right. So I've come back. And right now, we can see that the sugar is really getting dissolved. And I've got myself a nice wooden spoon here. Now you can use a whisk, but I don't want you to actually whisk. What you want to do is just let this thing go on its own. So don't actually get in there with a whisk and really mix this. You don't want to mix this. You know, you can take your whisk and just slowly move it around if you really feel the need to. Or what you can do is take your pawn, your take your your pot rather, and just go like this. Just move it around a little bit, just like that. Okay. So we'll just let that go. And what I want to do at this point, you can see how quickly this is going. When I paused the film before, that was only about maybe a minute, and you can see how quickly this goes. Now depending on the color of your caramel, you want to really watch this because once you get it too dark, then you can't go back. So I'm just going to carefully watch this. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there is a slight, slight little tint of caramel going on there. And you can see even this thing is very, very powerful. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to turn this thing right off for a second. So now I've got it right off, and I'm just going to watch this. You can actually see it cut, change in color now. So when I get it to the, the actual color that I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the butter, and I'm going to put the butter in there. And the butter is going to add a, add a really, really rich, creamy texture to our caramel. But what it also will do is it will stop the cooking process. Because the butter is cold, I'm using butter that's cold. I should actually put that in the description that the, the butter that I'm using is cold. That will drop the temperature of the, the sugar. So I'm just going to watch this. See, at this point now, it's slowed, it's slowed right down. So I'm just going to get it up to number one again. And I'll just let it go a little bit longer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just pause the tape for about maybe 30 seconds or so, and I'll come back. All right, so this is about a minute later. I said 30 seconds, but I let it go for about a minute. And you can see now, I'm not, well, hopefully you can see that it's really starting to get that caramel color. And this is really where you want to build up your flavor profile, because if you don't let this portion go at this, this step, if you don't let this go long enough, you're not really going to get that true caramel flavor. You really need, you know, the, 
the sugar to really caramelize. And now you can really see that coming, coming together. I had also turned up my heat. I'm actually going to turn that down now. I've got it right off now. And now, right now, I'm really starting to pick up, just for the first few seconds right now, I can smell the caramel. And there we go. And that's good. Perfect. You can see that's changing color very quickly now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all of my butter and just get that in there. Okay. And I've got my heat off now. And you can take that right off the heat, just like that. I'm going to get that in there. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our heavy whipping cream and I'm just going to get that in there as well. And at this point, you can stir, stir, stir. So I'll get my wooden spoon in there. And you may have to introduce heat depending on your stove, but I don't need to. There's a lot of heat going on here still. You can still see it, that it's very, very hot, even with the addition of the cold butter and the cold cream. So at this point, I'm just going to gently mix this. If you don't have a wooden spoon, you can use a regular spoon, you could use a fork, you could you know, a uh, whisk if you have one. And you can really see that beautiful caramel color coming together now. Oh, and that smells so good. Now, if you're wondering, yes, you could add a little bit of vanilla. So you don't want to add too much in because you don't want it tasting too much like vanilla. So maybe a half a teaspoon of vanilla. If you really like vanilla, then you could put in a whole teaspoon. You could have added it to your cream before you added it and mixed that together first. Doesn't really matter. And there we go. Mm -mm. Oh, that smells so good. I hope the camera can pick up the nice color. That is beautiful. I actually know some people, once it's actually harden, they might actually take a spoon and maybe sneak a little spoonful from time to time. I'm not going to mention any names. Yes, I'm talking about myself. But at this point, I'm just going to add a little bit more heat into this. So I'll just let it come up just to a little simmer and then I'm going to turn it off and then we're finished. Could you stop it right now? Yes, you could, because as this cools down, it is going to thicken quite a bit. I just want to give it a little bit of heat just so that I know everything is, you know, nicely combined. A little bit of heat really helps do that. Just brings it together in those final stages. There you can see the bubbles are starting. There we go. Just breathes a little bit of life into all of the you know ingredients just to kind of give them that last little spark just before we let it cool down. Just look, doesn't that look great? And at that point, I'm turning it off, and that is it. And now what we'll do is we'll just let this cool. And then you can pour it into a jar and store it in the fridge. So I'll come back a little later on when this is cooled down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from the heat. I'm actually going to go put it on my real stove, which is off. And I'm just going to let this cool down. And I'll show you the final product a little later on. Alright, my caramel sauce has cooled down considerably and I just wanted to show you how amazing this looks. I wish you could smell this. It is just amazing stuff. Look at this. And the next time you go to the grocery store, check out how much a bottle of caramel sauce costs and look what we made it for. Practically nothing compared to what you pay for it in the store. And this is homemade, all natural, and look at that. Amazing.
So let's just get some of this caramel right into my little serving dish. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It just smells amazing. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. This is my homemade caramel sauce. That's it for this video, so I'll see you next time.